again, hunting is all about being linear. It's a lot of technique, a lot, a lot of technique. So if you can take some of the stuff that you see here and, and, and learn it and, and continue to work on it, you'll see some continued success with it. So guys, first we're gonna talk about the ball drop, okay? And what I like to call this grip is like a handshake. Everything's going to be nice and straight, elbow's going to be slightly locked out, and there's going to be a, a tilt. Slight inward tilt, Ryan's a right foot punter. We have a 5 to 10 degree tilt on the inside of the ball, and he kind of guides that ball. We'll do one more. He's coming down and away with that ball. He's not just releasing it. Good release, guide, guide, and down and away. Step. He will release his left hand and then guide that ball onto his foot. Okay, so let's just watch him do one. Good. Guys, with this drill, a one-step drill, it's all about contact. Down, okay. His knee's gonna be locked on impact. His ankle's gonna be locked on impact. And he's gonna hit the basically the laces of his foot with the belly of the ball. As I mentioned in an earlier video, we talked about having a nice little five to 10 degree tilt. The reason for that is so when we hit it, that's when we start to get that spiral coming off of his foot. Majority will start with their left foot in front. A right and left step and then punt. So it's essentially a two-step punt. He's gonna release his left hand and drop with one hand. But we wanna make sure we stay linear. dimensional up and down as well. So there's a lot of variables within the punt drop. Pretty much locked out, staying within this three nice, comfortable three-dimensional plane that we can hit a nice, good, consistent drop because this drop catch, hold, lock. Again, catch it first, out in front, hold, lock, and punt. Drop the ball on the line. I'm going to highly recommend if you're first starting out with punting, this should be done at least 50 to 100 a day. Uh, walking up and down during practices or during your off time. Again, something you can do at home as well.